What's up everyone? It's Labor Day in New York City, September 6th, 2021. And I'm in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. The time is 2.25 p.m. and it's 82 Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius. But uh, we're gonna be exploring Crown Heights today. And after that, I don't know where I'm going, but we'll decide afterwards. But I wanted to come down here because this is the site of Caribbean Pride every day on, I mean, uh, every year on Labor Day, this neighborhood hosts the West Indies Carnival, or otherwise simply known as the Labor Day Parade. It's the most colorful parade in New York City. But um, due to coronavirus, the organizers decided to suspend it for this year. It was also canceled last year, so that's a shame but uh, that doesn't mean we're not going to see any festivities because it's very lively around here already and uh, let's check it out 
Mike, you're excited to see the parade? Yeah. Unfortunately, you'll have to look at uh, previous videos or look forward to next year's. The AVX girl in honor of West Indies Carnival have a good Caribbean meal. Yes. Look at this. Haiti, Jamaica, Panama. It's a huge Caribbean population here in Crown Heights. And uh, down Utica Avenue, this way, you'll see a lot of Caribbean um, businesses. This is probably like the busiest area for it. Also the other side of the streets. Sean, you're from the West Indies. Welcome to the chat. Hope you can enjoy this uh, parade far away in New York City. Look at this, Guyana, St. Vincent's, Jamaica. It's so colorful here. They're selling different plants. Dylan says it's very busy. It is. It's a shame the parade is canceled. I'm like so bummed out. I thought it was going to still go on, but we have this. Gaming says, do I see a Dominican Republic flag? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Look at this guy. He's dressed up in all colors. I wish the parade was still on. What happened? I know. Look at that. You can get different flags, peanuts, cashews. It's so beautiful. Vic says, what a lovely Labor Day. It is. It's so gorgeous. But no parade. Sean says, that's the Guyana flag he's wearing. Yes, the Guyanese flag. But historically, the uh, parade marches along this street I'm walking on, Eastern Parkway. And this entire street is closed to traffic. Can you believe it? It's like, uh, how many lanes are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six lanes of traffic. Yes, Jon Snow, unfortunately, it got canceled this year. The organizers did not want to run it. But we'll continue to walk along Eastern Parkway. Maybe we'll see some more festivities. I know they were doing um, some concerts by the Brooklyn Museum. Elegant Crime Junkie, thank you so much for $5. Appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Jon Snow says, second year in a row, I wanted to go. I know, right? This is crazy. I'm going to... Uh, just use my music to cover up some ambient noise. Not that I don't like Caribbean music, it's because that I have issues with copyright material on YouTube. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you so much, Mary. That's awesome to see them out there just hanging out. Here's the Eastern Parkway branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. Is that the only block where there are like uh, 
stand set up for all the festivities. Where's everything else? C Medina with $5. Thank you so much, C Medina. Thanks for always the great walks. Appreciate it. Gotta be careful with this intersection. There's no light. But thank you, C Medina. Hope you're doing well. And not only that, um, I didn't even see any stalls with food up there where I came from. Oh, this is interesting. There's artwork. Petaway, thank you so much for $10. Keep You're awesome. This is so neat to see. Looks like the moon on the surface of some water. Neighborhood, glad I could bring you back here. That is the Brooklyn Bridge. Painted. Uh, it's really nice. John Single says, Happy Labor Day. Thank you so much. Happy Labor Day to you. Today marks the official end, well, unofficial end of summer. Is this supposed to be under the water? Yes, I think so. All right, um, let me see what's going on here. I have some internet unstable warnings over here. I'm gonna walk for a little bit. If it continues, then uh, I'm gonna do a speed test and see if it's the service provider. says it was glitching a bit. Maybe it was just a little thing. Here's a sun setting. Oh wow, we got something going on. Look at this. Hey, what's up? Happy Labor Day. They got food here. Jeans franchise, bakes, fish cakes, barbecue chicken, chicken, excellent.
Here's all the food. Right where Troy Avenue and Easton Park is. Quick drink. I really wish the parade was on because I haven't even seen it personally yet and I missed the opportunity to go to it last year because there was no parade it got canceled It's a good thing I got off at the Utica Avenue subway stop. At least there was that little area where they had up the, the stalls and the stands. Ipsa is asking if I'll tell you something about Labor Day history. I'm not too knowledgeable on it, to be honest. I know it has something to do with uh, unions and fighting for workers' rights. And because of that, there's a federal holiday. And apparently there's another day that should be celebrated in May instead of this one. Oh, Lena, you have it on May 1st there. You see, it's different days. Oh, look at this. Looks like a local uh, group is setting up with food, the sound system. So uh, even though there's no parade, people are setting up in their private residences and inviting people over which is nice. You don't need a uh, city-wide like organization, like a parade or event to bring people together. Just ring up your friends, invite them over to your house, throw a barbecue, have some food. It's great. Scott says one big block party instead of the parade. There's also a lot of Jewish people who live in Crown Heights, which is why you'll see them walking around here. Jeff asks, is this a Jewish community? Um, it's kind of strange the way it's divided Jewish, I mean, um, Crown Heights to the south of Crown Heights is more Jewish and then to the north is more like Caribbean, African American. But I'm just generalizing. They do have like other sections as well. Carl Howard, thank you so much for $5. Holy cow, look at what Action Kid's doing incredible what he's gonna what he's doing definitely means he's gonna require money thank you carl howard appreciate the support
Well, the good news is uh, Easton Parkway, it lasts for a while, so I'll be on the street for a good amount of time. We'll get to see how we, um, how everything progresses. Gaming with the bros, That's I should take. Fun. Yeah, I am. Oh, I thought I might take a picture. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. uh, he's cool. Thanks. I wish the parade was on, but. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to check it out, see what's up there. But oh, okay. <laughs> have a good day. Right, see, here's a uh, Rabbicanal semina Seminary. Thank you so much, Namina T. 7.99. You just walk past the Airbnb you stayed at when I visited your two years for the first time. You love and miss Crown Heights. Oh wow! Thank you, Nima T. 7.99. I think there's a pretty good area to have an Airbnb. Eastern Parkway is tree lined. It's relaxing. You have the subway right here. It's a good place. The ABX girl does Rosh Hashanah start at sundown, sundown tonight. I thought it already started. But today is also a festive day for the Jewish too. It's the Jewish New Year. So a uh, happy New Year to the Jewish as well. Look at this, speaking of which, big block uh, celebration for the Jewish here too. Our many faces, this is great. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. See everybody out here celebrating, gathering with their friends, their family. Chat says, this is Utica. No, this is not Utica. This is, um, I forgot what street I passed. Kingston, Kingston Avenue. Tara is asking if this is a Jewish neighborhood. Part of it is. Yeah. It's really diverse in Crown Heights. Also interesting, they have uh, the barriers on the street here all lined up. I think the, uh, the city was ready for the parade anyway in case something happened. Oh, Brian, the last Labor Day you visited the Museum of Ice Cream? That's great. Seal Bear says, lovely neighborhood. Thank you for streaming for us on a holiday. Yeah, thank you very much. I wanted to come out and see it for myself. Rebecca Kiria Alessi with $20. I'm gonna try to pronounce this, but Ishana Tova, may you have a happy new year. Happy new year to you. 
Thank you so much. Jeff S. asking how many more videos of Los Angeles do I have left to release? Um, probably around like 15 to 20, I think. So it'll be late September until I'm done with all the Los Angeles videos. I've had pretty good feedback on the Los Angeles videos already. PJP, did I sleep while I was in LA? I did. Nima T with 1499, Australian. Interesting to see the Jewish and Caribbean community. Great food out there and cheap shopping. I didn't want to go back to Australia. <laughs> right. Nima, you had the uh, best of both worlds here. Caribbean food and the Jewish food. And also further down there, you have downtown Brooklyn. You've got um, the Brooklyn Museum too. You got Prospect Park down there too. Jonathan Martinez, and am I outside every day? Pretty much. It may seem that I don't get enough rest, but I make sure to have plenty of time for myself. Even if I record like two to three videos a day, I'll still have time for myself depending on how I organize it. So it may seem like I'm on YouTube all the time, but yes, I do get my sleep. Light Nub asking if there's a place in New York City to get a good lobster roll. I think the most well-known one is uh, Luke's Lobster Roll right in uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park. Oh yes, Mike Walker, I know about that. Burnout is a big problem with YouTubers for sure. Boomer says, I may want to check out Flatbush Avenue and Empire Boulevard on my walk. Yes, I will. I know there's a big uh, Caribbean population down there as well. Wait until um, the uh, Grand Army Plaza. It is so quiet here on Eastern Parkway. The parade would have definitely brought a lot more people out today. Thank you, John Donahue with 999. Happy Labor Day from 
New Hampshire. All right, New Hampshire. In the house. John Donahue, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are coming up on Franklin Avenue soon. This is the uh, main train station in the area. This is where the... Uh... No wait, this isn't the... the main train station. Franklin Avenue is a little bit further down. This is Nostrand Avenue. But I was gonna say, uh, Franklin Avenue, which is the stop back of this, is where you get the two separate train forks. One goes on Nostrand Avenue, the other one stays on Eastern Parkway. Thank you, Diana okay, Lee with five be? pounds, yeah, yeah. hydration fund, and Duplo Golo with BAM2. Thank you so much. Greetings from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying the video. There's also the B44 bus which runs on Notion Avenue. Oh yes, for sure, Boomer. Flatbush and Empire. That's right. Wendy J with a $30 super chat from Canada. Want to say a huge thank you for the Las Vegas strip video. It was epic. Appreciate me so much. And lighten up with $5. Thank you so much. Yeah, Wendy, that uh, Las Vegas strip video where I walked for almost five hours on the Las Vegas Strip showing both sides. That was epic and very informative for me too. I learned like what all the casinos look like and got a small glimpse of each one. Wow. Awesome. Mary says that was epic, it was. POV HFR saying it's reggae. Yes, reggae music. Awesome. Wish YouTube didn't have all these crazy copyright issues and I could play it, but I do have to cover it up a little bit. Up, oh, we're gonna have some more over here.
God said, Lord, it's gotten out of hand. It's crazy. The music industry is ruthless. But at least with my track, you can kind of hear the original song. That's why I picked it. So I had to do a lot of that on my uh, Las Vegas strip walk where I walked five hours. There was tons of copyrighted material on both sides of the strip. The original uh, video, I couldn't even publish because it said the Beatles' Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is blocked in all countries. So I was like, oh, well, that's great. I had to cover it up with my own music so you can still hear it, but it really distracted the uh, entire algorithm. Wall Street Skate Bro, happy Labor Day, happy Labor Day to you, man. KM with 5 Euro. Love the stream, keep it up. Coming to New York with my brother next year. Regards from Belgium. All right. I'm looking forward to your uh, video. I mean, a uh, trip here to New York City. Thank you so much. Oh no, Chet. The Beatles copyright on YouTube is like so crazy. I don't know what it is, but the Beatles is an absolute no-no when it comes to uh, having their music play on YouTube. It will not stand at all. They won't even let the video stay up. Walking Camille, thank you so much. Greetings. Hey, Jay Cation's here. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to you. And uh, hope you, I see you later when you come. Here's Bedford Avenue, Eastern Parkway. Still not too many festivities over here. I see 1400 Deadwood said over the years Beatles uh, lost out a lot of money on uh, royalties that's why they enforce their copyright so much and that's what makes it so hard to live stream too because you never know when that song's gonna play where YouTube won't allow it to be played at all and then it just knocks the live stream off immediately that's happened to me before too like here we got some music i'm sure it's okay but still gotta play my music over it lighten up thank you so much for five bucks appreciate it thank you so much <laughs> vacation still out in San Diego enjoying uh, Taco Tuesdays and California burritos which I miss
Larry B says should be more live by the museum. Okay, we'll check it out. Speaking of which, look at all these plants over here. Look at this. This is such a great community project. They give away free vegetables, washing and packaging for distribution in fridges. Oregano, thyme, cilantro. They got tomatoes too. You know what I love? The smell of a tomato plant. Uh, which one is it? I can't tell which leaf. Is it this one? Yeah. Here it is, this one. Oh man, the tomato plant smell is amazing. Mmm. Got some peppers here. S Fields 99, what does a tomato plant smell like? You really have to uh, touch it to really get a sense of what it smells like. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's very sweet. It's like uh, aromatic. Rebecca says, like perfume? Yeah, for sure. Tomato perfume. Ooh, that big dog's getting cooled down. S feels 99, now you're really intrigued, yeah. You know what works too, if um, you go by a grocery store and the tomatoes are still on the vine being sold, you can still rub your fingers on the vine and smell it. I used to grow tomatoes, but uh, I gave up that hobby of gardening. It takes a lot of work. Here's Franklin Avenue. Got some more gatherings here. Another block party. One Chris says tomato juice is good. Great. Look at that, huh? That looks good, right on the grill. Here's the Franklin uh, Franklin Avenue subway station over here. Also, you can get the S shuttle to um, the A and C lines. Lauren Santiago, that's a good question. I don't even know. You're asking if Trinidad and Tobago are one country or two countries. 
I don't know the history behind that, but maybe someone can enlighten us. Because when I look on Google Maps, it says Trinidad and Tobago on the um, on the listing there. Two islands. So I guess uh, Trinidad refers to like one island and Tobago is another island, but the two of them combine as the country. I got it. Yeah, S feels 99. Thank you for the clarification. That's kind of like how saying uh, if New York City was instead of New York City, they called it Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, and the Bronx. And then uh, you ask, are those five cities or one city? <laughs> Lassen Avenue. You know what? I think we're gonna get more festive after here. I see a uh, ice cream truck down there. Bulsal says, you hope this video is really live. It is live. I post the same day from Los Angeles and New York City, for sure. It's the way I do it. Because otherwise, there's going to be those angry people who say, I miss New York City. What happened to the LA content? Or, uh... I do both at the same time. All right, so this is the Brooklyn Museum area. Washington Avenue. Also, we have the uh, Brooklyn. Oh, what's up, man? Happy uh, Labor Day. Hi, guys. <laughs> we need the parade back. What happened? <laughs> Chris is asking if I get filmed inside the Brooklyn Museum. It's possible. I never tried, but uh, I probably wouldn't feel um, comfortable doing it. Oh, Nisha is pronounced Tobago, not Tobago. Tobago. Let's cross the right way over here and then I'll go to the crosswalk. Oh, Loud Labs news. The parade happened earlier. It was a small one with the mayor. I saw you covering pre-Labor Day um, setups last night. from around New York saying I could be in two places at once like a time turner. I also am uh, a time traveler too because 
I posted videos like years earlier or months before. Hey, we got some food here. Jerk chicken tacos. Reggae pasta oxtail. Wow. There's the Brooklyn Museum. So that was like the only food stand I saw. Oh man. West Indian Day and Jovert's parades canceled. Well that stinks. Oh yeah, I missed this structure here. On one side it says oi and the other side it says yo. Larry B is pronounced Juva. So West Indian Parade and Juva Parade. Everything going on. It's just so quiet around here. Here's the entrance to the Brooklyn Botanical Wait, This entrance is not open right now. Maybe. Looks like I had a little bit of um, buffering issues back there, but hopefully it doesn't last too long. I was about to go into the park, but after getting that internet warning, I don't think I'm gonna go up there. By the way, emergency subway.
natural born winner. Do I have T-Mobile? I I'm streaming on Verizon. I also have AT&T if needed. But I uh, suspended my T-Mobile plan because works well in New York so no need to uh, have a third plan All right, so uh, this is over here with the main branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. So as I was saying, I hope the internet holds of the Eastern Parkway right here with Grand Army Plaza and the main branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. We didn't really see too much in terms of uh, celebrations back there besides some uh, block parties and street stalls. But we'll head down Flatbush Avenue to Empire Boulevard. That's a big intersection. I love the design of the Brooklyn Public Library. Just a bit of a warning though, I know uh, when I live stream in Prospect Park, my, connect my connection isn't really the greatest. It goes in and out in Prospect Park, so I'm not sure how it's going to be on the outside of Prospect Park here. Oh cool, the 25 cents toilets. I think I'm gonna need to use it, so. I haven't used one of these in a while, but. 
will go in. All right, 25 cent toilets. All right. Oh, this is not good. There's like newspaper. Well, I don't think you need to see more because uh, I'll put it on a be right back screen. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Actually, the rest of the wrestling wasn't that bad. Everything was just wet. But uh, I got out now, and now the restroom is cleaning itself. But anyway, I did make a video of these uh, self-cleaning toilets before. And the uh, reviews of it from my side are not that great. The toilet seat is all wet and basically what it does to clean itself, I left the camera inside, is that it sprays water all over the floor and then it like kind of air dries it a little bit so I don't think it does a really good job cleaning but at least the options there if we need it. Oh, the worst part about that uh, toilet is that they give you 15 minutes max and if you don't finish within 15 minutes, the door automatically opens and an alarm goes off. So someone can just come into you while you're doing number two and you don't even realize it. Cool guy asking if I got my quarter back. Nope, that quarter was used up to use, enter the restroom. 
I was lucky I even had a quarter on me because I got change back from uh, buying a beverage. So we've got Prospect Park over to my right here. He asked what happens if you don't have a quarter, then uh, you're out of luck. You can't use the, the restroom in that area then. The library does have a restroom, but it's not open all the time. Um, I'm going to Empire Boulevard right now. a short while down there. Right, this is the big My shell says it's buffering here, but the picture's still good. Uh, T-Mobile's not any better either. I'm going to run a speed test. On AT&T. Alright, T-Mobile's got two, which is bad. T-Mobile's got two megabits per second upload. I don't know how Verizon is because uh, I don't have a Verizon test phone over here, but I want to see what AT&T does. Gotta switch to AT&T now. 8, 9, this is perfect for 1080p streaming, so. I'm gonna switch. Let's do the SIM card switch to AT&T. Okay. 
T-Mobile is a horrible here. Two megabits per second. AT&T got like uh, eight to nine. But we gotta do the SIM card shuffle now. Okay, I got my AT. Back soon, switching out. All right, I'm back on uh, AT and T. I'm going to uh, put the other Verizon, the other SIM card, and the other phone, and then run a speed test here. We'll see how this is. Is this not going in right? There we go. All right. After restarts. Let's put my SIM card tool back as a It does not, uh, I can easily misplace it. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Done booting up yet. Home drone fire, so you can take the sim out of the phone and put it in another one and it'll work. Yes, it will. The iPhone, it doesn't make you uh, restart the phone, but uh, Samsung, this phone, when you put a new sim card in, it says phone must be restarted, which is so strange. All right, Verizon's got two bars of service. Let's see Verizon. Verizon Wireless. It's time to load. What? The download speed is great on Verizon. What about upload? That's what we care about is uploads. Oh! No wonder why it has so much problem. Look at that. You can't live stream at one or two. Heck, even three is not acceptable. AT&T, we have like eight to nine. You only need about seven to live stream at 1080. Yep, that's why it was uh, buffering on Verizon. Now we know the issue. Because uh, Verizon stinks here. Download speed is excellent, but I care about upload speed. But T-Mobile is also bad here too. It only has two megabits per second upload. All right. Here we are. Home drone FPV, thanks for that upload info. Yeah, I guess if uh, you're living around Prospect Park, it's better to get AT&T. B Griffin 317, what was the best cell provider in California? Um, in LA, it was all spread out. I say uh, 
AT&T was the best in the Los Angeles area about 70% of the time, followed by T-Mobile like 60% of the time, and then Verizon was like 40% of the time. But LA, I had to, uh, I had to use all three providers. It was really bad. I was switching between all three providers and live streams at all different points. Lauren says best phone coverage in LA is the home Wi-Fi for sure If so that must be a heck of mobile data phone bills for sure It's not cheap to uh And let me uh adjust this gimbal I have to move it over to the right a little bit better On one side is the Brooklyn Botanic Garden and to the right is Prospect Park. There's a party happening, I think, in Brooklyn Botanic Garden. from around New York the weird bass really comes through on the uh, speakers yeah bass really goes far JP asking if sure can. Seems like I'm walking further away from it and the base is getting stronger. The base is so strong I could uh, feel it pounding my chest.
Mary, you hear the music. It's strong. This area of Brooklyn is a uh, very hard to get by. What? There's a peacock. We're right next to the Prospect Park Zoo, but this is the first time I've seen the peacock up here. Hey, Peacock! Show us your beautiful feathers. It's not moving. Oh, Ibsu, peacock's the national bird of India. So, Prospect Park Zoo is over here. I like this zoo. It's also got a red panda in there. So this entrance is closed. Camilo Lopez, I inspire you to take a Lena's ass out of all the animals because I think it's exotic looking and it really looks like a fox, but it's not a fox. It's also got the nice bushy tail and it acts very playful. But it sleeps most of the time in the trees and just the way it curls up, it's very cute looking. The ABX girl says peacocks can be loud. Yeah, they can be loud and aggressive. So uh, finally, we're almost at the end of this uh, corner of Prospect Park. Empire Boulevard is uh, right over here. Oh, 
up. I see some celebrations in there. Inside the park. Kelvils says finally. I know, right? I don't like this walk over here either. It just seems like it goes on forever. There's a lot of American flags. Daryl says, Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to you, too. All right, this is where everything is. Oh, TikTok, this a 13 cents. Metric card video doesn't work now, Sire. So Try to make it a dollar five, set in valid amount. It worked for me this morning. I just did it. The cash app recently re reintroduced the uh, dollar MTA boost. Yeah, Lena, this is what we wanted, right? Awesome. Right in the park here. Just come back and sing that to me. I tell you a million times. Every time I see that bumper, it just makes me lose my mind. Don't even want to start. I saw the Dominican flag. Nice. Happy Labor Day! <laughs> this is so awesome! It was dead there on Eastern Parkway. <laughs> Take care, bye! That was cool. Oh, and there's a trail in there too. Sin City Family says, what's up, what's up, man? They're in between tracks, so no music. Up. It's coming back up. My shell says they're having such a nice time. It's wonderful here. And uh, I got a super chat from Heather Angel Light, Dollar Nine. Thanks as always. Stay safe. Have fun. Appreciate it. This is where everything is in the park. We got to see these flags again. Yeah, TikTok clips, you do need uh, exist. You want to still get the boost anyway. This 
is awesome. Ray says, park pretty, yes. It's so beautiful. Oh, cool, thank you. Look at that. Open registration, Brooklyn Alliance Drumline. Registration fee, $25. Oh, there's the Queens one now. It's a beautiful community event. Yeah, Marie, we love a Caribbean. Hey, what happened? It's a uh, live YouTube. Yeah, it's cool. The drum line is awesome. All right, it's such a beautiful day today, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna perform in there, or? Yeah, we'll be performing. Oh, nice, awesome. About five minutes. Oh, 10 minutes? Yeah. All right, I'll wait around. Why not? This would be cool. Yeah. I want to see this drum line perform. This would be awesome. That's what I love about New York City, community events like this. Yeah, I will. I have to. I came at the right time. Yeah, we gotta watch them perform. That's right. I didn't know that was a big tower over there. Jamie, we shouldn't have any cell issues, for sure. Let me fold this piece of paper before it flies away. The Brooklyn drum line. Sugar Shack, that might be the wine radio, W-Y-N-E. That's cool. I think they're looking for donations. I'll uh, give them something. It's only fair if you enjoy their music or record them that 
to support them. There you go. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. All right. I gave him 20 bucks. Just because it's like the most interesting part of the live stream now. After walking all of Eastern Parkway, we come over here. It's going towards a good cause, keeping these uh, children um, entertained and active. All right, they're moving. A day bless. I need to try Jamaican grilled chicken, jerk chicken with rice and salad. I've uh, had it before. It's excellent. Yes, uh, B. Griffin, I started from Utica Avenue. says you wish music class in school actually taught you to play something yeah I remember in my uh, high school class we had like music theory and history but we didn't play too many instruments Okay, they're moving in. That's the instructor. helping out when you can. Thank you.
Man, what an amazing performance. They're so good. Oh, they're doing another um, session. Give them applause, please. Well done. Give them, give them applause. They're well doing. Give them applause. Give, give, one, give more. Applause, one more. They got one How crazy is it that I uh, came to this part of Prospect Park without knowing it and then time. Sometimes spontaneity can bring the money. I'm in the right place at the right time. I still haven't gone to uh, Empire Boulevard yet. That's this street here. That's where the band is going. Yes. Oh, I have two already. Have two yeah. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I did the whole show live on YouTube. Oh, nice. Yeah. If you want to see it, my channel is Action Kid. Action Kid on YouTube. Yeah. Check it out. I know. Also, they on YouTube. 
Yeah. Kid. Yeah. I walked all the way from uh, Utica and Easton Park when I came down here. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I wanted to see what happened with the parade and everything, but I came here. This is the best part of uh, <laughs> the whole, uh, whole journey. Alright, so this is Empire Boulevard right here. We got the Wendy's. Doesn't seem to be too much down there, but down this way, possibly. Love this Flatbush Avenue uh, tree. Ruthie e. Wilson, you love New York diversity. Melting pot of all kids and people and events. You know, uh, that's kind of the thing I missed when I was in uh, SoCal and Las Vegas. Because I didn't really encounter too many like spontaneous events like this other than um, the uh, Vietnamese um, night market there. And during my last day in Los Angeles, there was supposed to be an event in Little Tokyo, some kind of a parade, and that was canceled too. Here's the Prospect Park subway station. Got a prep school here. There's also a whole bunch of Caribbean restaurants around here. I'm actually getting hungry right now. After walking around and live streaming for uh, almost two hours, that does it to your body. I might just eat some Caribbean food here because I'm in the mood. I was looking for it the entire Eastern Parkway and there was only like two places you can get food but maybe I'll go into one of these local restaurants and get some nice Caribbean food Chippy Sweet you ordered some uh, oxtail with rice and peas that sounds good maybe something I want to get later thank you peace and love ten dollars appreciate the support Uh, B. Griffin says oxtail's hard and bony. Actually, it's not that bad. It's a great piece of the meat because the oxtail is very uh, meaty. There's a lot of... Uh, sometimes it's like, can be bony, but it all depends. Yeah, I think I'm craving oxtail. Haven't had it in a while.
Lavender says, thanks for showing us around and the Labor Day parade was nice. Well, there was no parade today, but I at least showed you the community vibes today. Here's a Dominican and Jamaican beauty salon. Oh, there's a Jamaican place, Golden Crust. They're a chain restaurant. But it's pretty good. All right, folks. I think I'll end my live stream here. This will good be a good place for me to end and then I'll find a restaurant here and get some nice oxtail. Maybe I'll even record it on Action Kid Extra. But thank you all for joining in to this live stream today in Crown Heights, all the way over here past the Brooklyn Museum to Prospect Park and we got to see the drum line. That was amazing. But yeah, please smash the like button if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. And I got a super chat from Brithead. Thank you so much for 10 bucks. Yeah, Bordy, Oxtail sounds good right now. I have a craving for it, so that's what I'm gonna get. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.